Good morning, Daniel, Brittany, it's Mike Phelan. I wanna give you a quick update on your house, guys. This week was a big week. We poured your foundation. So a couple of things I'll tell you. I think I already told you during our foundation prep, went over some of that with you. And I probably mentioned uh, the importance of control joints. Uh, you can see we did cut the control joints here. We cut them in an approximately 10 foot by 10 foot grid. And uh, why those are important is that concrete does two things. It hardens and it cracks. There is no way to prevent cracking, guys. So what we try to do is we control where it happens. And when we talk about cracking, we're not talking about giant cracks through your entire foundation. Um, but what will happen is, especially superficial cracking, we want to control where that is. So if we have one that starts here, we don't want it to go all the way over there. And by cutting these control joints, if it starts here, it'll stop there. Um, and that's, that's something that uh, I inspected this morning. You can see we want to make sure that it's at the proper depth. The proper depth is a quarter of the thickness of the slab. Your foundation is a minimum of 3.5 inches deep. So if you do the math on that, uh, a quarter of the depth is 7 eighths of an inch. So we go around, we check all of these cuts, and we make sure that it's 7 eighths of an inch deep. That is the, the purpose of the control joints. One other thing that we accomplished this week is as a rough grade of your lot. So uh, we do a rough grade at this stage of production. We wanna, if there's an excessive amount of dirt, we wanna get that out of here, which your excessive amount of dirt is now right there. Um, or if we have spots where we need dirt, we wanna make sure that we bring that in at this stage of production. That's important because when we get to the final grading of your lot, we don't wanna move massive amounts of dirt either out or in. Uh, your temporary electric pole, I think we may have talked about that. That is there, uh, we passed our inspection and we should have a meter on that very, very soon. That's important because it gives our trades um, power to work. <laughs> Truth be told, as long as we have one within a couple of lots, they can usually handle it with the extension cord. Um, but that's something that we want to have available for our trades. Last thing I'm going to tell you is we do cut out during rough grade. We cut out here in front of your garage. Um, the reason we do that is later on when we pour your driveway, we'll actually take all of that gravel and we'll spread it here underneath, uh, underneath the paved driveway. Um, that does two things. One, it, it has that nice gravel uh, underneath underneath instead of just having the dirt. But two, it saves us from having to haul all of that gravel out. If not, what happens is the concrete team shoves it to one side or the other, and then we have this dirt that we can't use for landscaping because it's full of full of rocks and gravel. So there's pretty much everything we do, guys. There's there's layers to it. There's There's a method to the madness. There's some kind of logical reason for everything that we do. And uh, especially like the control joints are a good example. Those are Pulte construction standards, PCS. And Pulte has been around for a little over 70 years now. It's a Fortune 100 company, ginormous company. And what, what we do very well, and one reason I like working for Pulte is we are constantly trying to incorporate best practices into what we do. Um, and those are some of the best practices, just to give you a little bit this week. And I'll continue to do that every week, try to give you these little, little bits of, hey, here's what we're doing and here's why we're doing it. And the overarching goal is just to give you the confidence that one, we're doing our job for you, and two, your home is being built very, very well. Guys, if you have any questions, any concerns, any issues, please do let me know. I hope you have a great week, a great weekend, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.